Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take this battery powered razor, this, this blade, and um, convert it into something to where we don't need to use the battery. It's a pretty cheap one, you know, I think I bought one for like uh, maybe eight dollars or ten dollars or whatever but uh i get i'm tired of like changing the battery so uh we're going to convert this into something that can use usb so we never have to actually change the batteries and i'm just going to give you a quick overview it's not going to be pretty but it'll tell you exactly how you can change something that takes batteries into something that only uses usb so the first thing i do is i find myself a usb and i'm just going to clip the the end of that usb that goes into the device then I'm going to strip that using these uh, these CAD cable strippers. Then I'm going to expose the wires on the inside of that cable. There should be four wires there. Um, if there's five, don't worry about it. We're only interested in two, the red and the black. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to strip the black cable, which is the ground. I've already stripped the red, so we're going to strip both of those cables, the red and the black, the ground, and the 5 volt using these strippers that I got from uh, Amazon and fold down the rest. Now I'm going to do a little test with these. I'm going to hook up the ground and the, uh, the 5 volt cable to these wires. And I'm going to check them out on the multimeter to see if I'm getting the right voltage out of them. Which is 5 volts is what I'm looking for. So the way I'm hooking this up to the blade is I'm taking the positive Part that you know normally the battery goes in so the normally the positive part of the battery goes here this is take two batteries so this is why first of all I'm taking this the red and I'm hooking it up to the positive part where the battery goes here and here's the other slot for the other battery and that's the negative and that's where I'm hooking up the the ground so if you can see through the there, there it is. So see, here's the ground cable and it's hooked up to here. And here's the red cable and it's hooked up to here. Now what happened was that um, I tried to solder it. And I was just trying to do it quickly because this was just something someone asked me to do. So I'm doing this as a, a request video. So I really wasn't prepared to actually 100% make this look pretty. But uh, just to show people how it's done. Um, I soldered it directly on to this piece. Now what I would have actually have liked to do is go ahead and open up the device and go ahead and connect it directly to the board. But for right now, this serves the, the same purpose of al allowing you guys to know how to do this. Secondly, I soldered the, the, uh, the ground wire to the negative, but it kept falling off. So what I did was... I went ahead and then put some some uh, duct tape on there just to push it on there for now. And later on, I can go ahead and adjust it. But now you'll see once I plug this into the USB port of my computer. Uh, and if you look down here, I've soldered this wire to the positive to the 5 volt and I soldered this wire the black one to the black wire of the USB which is the ground so to extend those wires and as you can see it works So now if I'm late for work or, you know, I'm just uh, someone needs a razor, I can go ahead and hook this thing up, hook it up to my USB, and I have myself a USB razor for like eight bucks, basically. So let's look. This right here costs a couple of cents. This wire was free. I found that USB wire. You find USB wires everywhere. And this you can buy brand new at Walmart for like a eight or ten bucks or something like that. It's hugely affordable. So I have myself a USB portable razor. Uh, for less than $15 uh, and you can uh, go ahead and try this and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you, uh, make sure you subscribe and um, make sure you hit that notification bell if you are interested in all of my updates on the YouTube page alright so um, hopefully this was helpful I'll see you guys next time